All right, so in this video, we're going to solve a word problem that has bearings in it. So let's take a look at the question. The distance between two lighthouses is 10 kilometers. From lighthouse A, the bearing to lighthouse B is 60 degrees. So I'm just going to label my A over here. Anytime I'm doing a bearing question, so from lighthouse A, the bearing, so anytime I'm doing a bearing, I always draw an arrow going towards north. And then you have to always draw your bearings in a clockwise um, direction. So my angle is 60 degrees. So clockwise 60 degrees. And this goes towards lighthouse B. This angle here is 60 degrees. This distance, the distance from A to B is 10 kilometers. A ship has wrecked near the two lighthouses. From lighthouse A, the bearing is 20 degrees. So again, I'm starting here and I'm doing 20 degrees, which is a smaller angle than this 60. So approximately over here, 20 degrees. Now you don't know how long this line is going to be until you complete the question. So we'll just stop it over there for now. And if we need to extend it, we can extend it later. From lighthouse B, the bearing is 335 degrees. So again, I'm going to draw my arrow going towards north. And I have to draw an angle of 335 degrees. So 90, 180, 270, and 335 is somewhere approximately here. Then I can draw my line going across over there. And then I can extend this line and connect it at that point. And here is where my ship is. Okay, so now that I have this, I know that this is 335 degrees. The question is asking me which lighthouse is closer, is A or B closer to the ship? So I'm going to redraw this with just a triangle because it's always neater and a bit easier to do that. So A, B, and S. I know this is 10 kilometers. And I know I need to find small b and small a and see which one is closer to the ship. Now, in this triangle, I don't know anything else, but I can find a few other things using the bearings over here. The first thing I can find is this tiny angle. So this tiny angle here is the whole big angle minus that small 20 degrees over there. So 60 minus 20 makes this angle 40 degrees. I still don't have enough information. I need one more angle to be able to solve this. So again, I'm going to try and find another angle using this. Not possible for me to find this one here. So the way I like to do it is I like to find this angle here first. So this tiny angle is 360 minus 335, which is 25 degrees. Okay, now how do I use this 25 degrees to find another angle? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Z rule. So I'm going to draw a straight line going down over here. And using my Z rule, I know that this angle is 25 degrees. And using the same Z rule over here, I know that this small angle is 20 degrees. So using those two bearings, I can find the, these two tiny angles. And I know that this total angle is just the total of these two, which is 20 plus 25, which is 45 degrees. Now I have enough information to solve using sine law. So first thing I'll solve for is small a because I know this angle. So a over sine 40 equals 10 over sine 
45. A equals 10 Just did my cross multiplication there and I'll put it in my calculator. So that is 9.1 kilometers. So I'll label that here 9.1 km. You can find this angle next. So 180 minus 40 minus 45, which is 95 degrees. And again, I'll use sine law to find small b. So b over sine 95 equals 10 over sine 45. b equals to 10 sine 95 over sine 45. Put that in my calculator and I get 14.1 kilometers. So I'll label that back into my triangle over here, 14.1 km. So now if we compare the two lighthouses, we can tell that lighthouse B is closer to the shipwreck.